When the pandemic hit, my wife and I left the city to quarantine here in the woods in the Northeast. I like it here. There's lots of open space and almost no one puts up fences. Oh, except what's this? This big ugly fence wasn't here last year. It goes on and on, spoils the view of the woods. Who put this fence up? Oh, my government did. They took over a campground here, but something's odd about it. The signs say the campground's full, but it looks empty. I see signs directing people to campsites, to group camping, but I don't see any people. There are picnic tables, but they're upside down. What a shame. This would be a great place to camp. Are there any people here? Finally, deep into the campground, I found a few trailers and a few people. So I asked, Why is this place so empty? Everything is sold out. Sold out? How can that be? Maybe these people know. Why is it so empty here? I think it's so empty because of COVID, honestly. Why would COVID make it empty? Because it's camping. You got lots of room. That's what we're saying. What makes this empty campground even stranger is that nearby, there's this full campground. Why is this place full while the state campground's empty? We asked the Parks Department. I understand you've tried them four times. It was like asking the bureaucrat in this TV show. Sir, are, 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 are you listening to me, sir? Sir, I'm talking to you. We kept calling and emailing, and nine days later, someone finally told us they had difficulty hiring seasonal employees. What? Why? This is Massachusetts. This summer, Massachusetts had the highest unemployment rate in America. Yet the state, which offers to pay $25 per hour, can't find any workers who'd work outdoors in this beautiful forest. No official would agree to an interview about why they couldn't find staff. But the owner of the full campground agreed to talk. He's John Gothier. Not far from you, there's this government campground, and it's practically empty. The state buys a private campground for $3 million, cuts the rates for residents by 50%. Not only did the state spend millions, its camping operations lose thousands of dollars a year. We, as a small business, do not have that opportunity. That's a difference between government and private business. John has to make a profit. He even charges his customers for shower water. It's like 25 cents, I think, for six minutes. And, you know, but when you're camping, six minutes or so is usually enough. At the empty government campground, water's free. The government's few campers can waste all they want. The private owner also can't afford to leave his campsite empty. He works to keep it full. And it is. No you way. have to get staff. I assume you try well, harder. If, we, if there was no staff, we were the staff. My day off is the week after Labor Day. Because the private owner tries harder, lots of people get to camp. And people I, happy here? People we're happy. very happy here. Rarely do we get to see such clear demonstrations of the difference between public and private, but they are everywhere. Government fails again and again. And when it does, Taxpayers make up the losses. It's kind of unfair you have to compete against the government, which is losing all this money. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it, it's not a great scenario, but uh, you kind of, uh, what can we do? Well, really, what can we do? I hope you learned something from these videos. If you do and you'd like to help us make more, we count on people like you to keep these coming. Please press that button.